Hello, Kilton. I have been told that you have some new stuff for me. Ah, oh, it's just you. Good evening. Can I help you with anything? I'd like to spend some on. Da da, I've done it. I've developed an unprecedented piece of monster care. I can't believe I was able to pull this off. I'm actually a bit terrified of myself right now. Um, I present to you the ultimate in monster camouflage. I call it the Dark Series. Wear this and you will become a monster yourself. I hope you like being hunted for your organs. Or you could just, you know, think of it as a costume. Oh yes, when the night falls, you might be able to move just a little bit faster. I'm not sure how it turned out that way, but I'm not complaining. Your current balance is 315 mon. What would you like to buy? The Dark, the Dark series. This headgear, sorry, this headgear is the prog product of my monster research. I crafted it from a monster born from the shadows in mind. The eyes glow an eerie red in the dark. A spurious replica of the green tunic once worn by the legendary hero himself. It looks like your average leg wear at first, but these were created based on the image of a monster born from darkness. Ah, classic. The dark trousers will cost you the same. Is that okay? That's a pretty terrifying outfit if I do say so myself. It could even make the bravest merchant cry for his mummy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Another piece of gear that I need to upgrade. We get night speed up, and presumably this will prevent us from being seen by enemies. I mean, it looks it looks sweet, and it's a, a great way to to um to contrast this. But otherwise, can we upgrade it? That is the question of the hour. Oh, <laughs> that saves me some work. The dark tunic cannot be enhanced. I'm kind of glad about that, actually. That means that I don't have to spend hours grinding <laughs> during a recording session when I should be getting the final three shrines and ending the game. Well, cool. We have the dark tunic. I, I have heard through some sources that... This increases uh, the result of food created at midnight. I don't know if that's true or not. So you're going to have to tell me if it does something besides grant night speed up and apparently uh, make us immune to enemies similar to Majora's Mask. Or not immune, but make us pass under the guise of enemies undeterred. So sweet. I'm going to go pick up some monster extract because I need to do some cooking. And then we can move on to the next thing. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. I almost said Skyward Sword. Breath of the Wild. Last time, we got up to 117 shrines, and I gave the last call of the main series. You guys have been very responsive in the comments, telling me what I should do before I enter Hyrule Castle, or just what you want me to do with, since I'm here, you can tell one of the I'm doing one of those things now. Apparently, when we saw these Gorons a couple of episodes ago, or last episode, whichever it was, we could we had the option to fight them, and we can do so simply by swinging a sword at them, and that sounds very exciting. We can fight them, right? Yeah, fight them. I mean, they're raising their fists. But, oh, 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 <laughs> okay, <laughs> he broke my shield, wow, that, that's how we're playing it, that's how we're playing it, do it, throw a punch, throw a punch, no, come on, I was trying to chill bash this guy, come on, no, 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 you're, you're not getting off that easy, I'm gonna flurry rush you, aw, oh, it didn't work. Come on. Yeah! That's a real fight. Oh, this is this is entertaining. Do it. 
Oh, that's what you get. Boom, boom, blap, blap. Hit me. Oh, I, I can't flurry rush him. I really want to flurry rush him. And yes, I'm where I'm taking damage. Yeah, okay, let me dodge to the other side. Hoi! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Oh, look at that! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna shield bash this, this guy one more time. Hit me! Come on! Look at that! That's pretty cool! I mean, we can't take damage from them, but uh, we, we can very well fight them. That's a cool Easter egg. Do they have different attacks? Kinda. They kinda do. Do you have a different attack? No, not really. Okay, so they have two attacks. That's that's pretty sweet though. I was I wasn't sure what to expect when you said that you could fight them. I was thinking, okay, maybe maybe when I swing at them they'll be like, Oh, you challenge our might? Well, we're going to challenge yours. But this this also works. That's pretty cool. Okay, on to the next thing, which I believe is a shrine. Uh let me check my notes. Last episode, I asked you guys for directions to the missing shrine. And yes, I realized that there are three missing shrines, but I know the general vicinity of all of them. One of them is in the center of Hyrule Castle. We're going to be getting that last. The next one is the Heber Maze, which we're going to be getting that after the 118th. But the 118th that we're going to get, I had no clue where it was. You have told me in the comments that it is slightly northwest of the Gerudo Tower uh, location at the center of a formation of rocks that look like a pair of scissors, which I believe these to be the, the rocks in question. So I'm going to place a marker there, and we are going to head there. In fact, it, it's below us, so we can we can just fly right over. Uh, I have my, my clothes, I have my Korok mask. We have 456 Koroks, and I don't really expect to be getting that many more, I say as I head straight towards one. Uh, but mainly because it, it feels like if I'm going out of my way to do that, it kind of feels like overkill. Got it. But what was I saying? There's going to be a certain point where I'm getting all of the remaining Korok seeds, and because I don't need to expand my inventory, I don't think it's that pertinent to go out of my way and make the Enslade super long, especially when there are going to be some very interesting vistas available to us. Vistas that I can't show off if the Enslade has to be occupied by uh, Korok Seed montages. So I, I really want to be able to capture that in Hyrule Castle and, and get that, that theme, as it were. And also grab this Winter Wing Butterfly. So, there's supposed to be a shrine. I'm sensing shrines currently with my sensor, but I'm not... Oh, there's the dragon. I'm not seeing... Oh. No. Is that... Is that it? Is that... I don't... No, that's not it. That's the Yiga Clan hideout. Yeah. We are currently above the Yiga Clan... Oh! There it is. Never mind. It is very close to the Yiga Clan hideout. And I don't hear Cass. So there's no... There's no uh, fanfare to this one. This is just... Uh, a thing. If you seek the glowing, uh, seek power untold. Offer a bl shining blue stone. That is the easiest shrine quest. Never mind. That's not the easiest shrine quest we've ever gotten because I just realized I was trying to. When I started this this clip, I was trying to get on top of the tower, and so I I dropped a bunch of campfires to try to get an updraft, and in the process, I used up <laughs> I used up all my uh all my wood, so I'm out of wood. So I have to wait for this naturally. Uh, what it wants is a, a luminous stone, which I do have, but they don't glow blue. Man, the shadow's cool. They don't glow blue in the in the daytime. Did that wolf just... That poor thing. Looks like I, I've uncovered some sort of ruins. And looking at the hero path mode, I have not been there. So it looks like it could be an extension of the, like the, the ice house, um, what, what do you, monoliths? Uh, stone, um, Parthenon, that's what I was trying to think of. So it, it's a, an above ground extension 
of that, or, uh, or rather, uh, a cliffside extension of that. So it could be cool. At the very least, it's going to harbor a Korok seed, and at the very most, it will be a, uh, a pretty cool scenic scenery landscape. It looks like a weird mini fortress with a dude. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up here so I can insta-kill dude. Insta-kill dude. This is a uh, blizzard rod. Is it better or worse than mine? It's the same, therefore it's worse. You can die. And there's nothing here? I don't know what this is for. It's, it's very interesting. Oh boy. Uh, let's just get rid of you for now. Yeah, there's nothing really here. There's not even a Korok seed. That's rather queer. There's no treasure. There's nothing. It's just a very cool... A very cool, uh... Oh, there's a treasure. Haha. -ha. Okay, well, we'll grab the treasure, then we'll go back, because it, it's definitely nighttime. Luminous stones will be glowing. I, duh. Get up, Link. Up. Move over. Drop. Grab this. And then uh, we're just going to teleport out, I think. Silver Rupee. That's cool. You die. And then I am going to warp back to the, the shrine. Oh, there's another chest I missed. No, it's in the background. From above. Yep, this was definitely. I definitely have the the puzzle correct here. We just need to throw a couple luminous stones on the top of this, and we might as well grab some while we're at it. I mean, it's not like we're using any, but and it's not like we need uh, materials for anything. I'm pretty much independently wealthy by just hunting um, by by just hunting Lionels alone. But it doesn't mean that I can't be consistent. Yeah, this was really easy. Just throw a stone on it and you're done. So, <laughs> I, I'm glad we found it. And honestly, this is probably one of the harder ones to find because Cass isn't near it. Uh, it's it's above a main path, like a path you're supposed to be taking. And it's not something you really think about. Also, there's so many cliffs around. You saw when I was on the top of this cliff, when this shrine was directly below me, I almost completely missed it. It was just a chance occurrence that I happened to look down and see it. So it's it's a really easy to miss shrine, and it, that explains why it's the 118th. I kind of hope this one isn't a test of strength. Oh good, it's not. Because we've we've been doing so much fighting recently, and there's so much fighting yet to come, that I kind of just want... I kind of just want some puzzles. Two bombs. Is there any... Oh, oh, we can bomb this. Okay. Bomb that, go through. They clearly want us to be using bombs. We have this thing, which I presume will rate. What? Just happened. Oh, okay. I think there's a frame skip there. And there's our chest. Because that thing just blinked to being, being uh, lowered. That was kind of wacky. Okay, so I presume... No, I think we're supposed to be on top of this when it when it goes. I was gonna say we could ha we could have a bomb on it, but I don't think that's uh that's the answer. Oh, maybe it is. Here, let's throw a bomb on there and see. Yep, uh, I was right. But is is there something inside? Oh, I was gonna say is there something inside of it? But what was supposed to happen? is just for consistency's sake, they put two bomb barrels in there, just to make sure that, making sure there are no, oh, actually there is. Okay, come on, lower. I see a place I can go. Up, get over here. Let's see, is there any reason for this? I don't think so, I don't think so, Lucy, though we can see the end, we can see the end game here. Okay, so that, bo that bomb opened up this. We get another bomb puzzle, which will be... Here. I said it'll... Okay, here... Is there a switch behind it? Yep. Man, this is pretty... <laughs> this is what I thought was going to be on the first one. This was really predictable. Okay, and then I presume... Probably would have been better if we reversed the bomb shapes. 
But I think... No, 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 no. Stay. I'll kick you right there, and then you stay right there. Okay. Square bomb. Normal bomb. F fixes and finishes and does the thing. It, it's a very simple concept, but it's it's one that... Whoa. We haven't seen... We haven't seen simple concepts in a while, and I, I'm enjoying this. Okay. So, we need to throw this bomb in there. Trigger that switch. Uh... Wait a minute. There's a... A problem with that. Oh! Oh, I see what we need to do. Uh... Man. This is... Okay, well, first we need to lower this. There. We can do that, and then I think we... This is kind of... Can we do it th that quickly? Throw? And then... We're gonna be like... We're gonna be here. Which will raise us up. But, do you see our problem now? We... We need stasis, don't we? I think that's what we need. No, we can't stasis these. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there a way? Get my bomb ready. While we're flying. While we're flying over. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, drop a bomb here. I'm not sure if we're supposed to do that. Do that, though. And then throw a bomb in. Oh, but that detonates both of them, doesn't it? It does. Ugh. I... Hmm. I, I feel like I'm making this much more difficult than it has to be. But at the same time, am I? Am I? This seems very difficult. Oh, never mind. I just solved it. I just solved it. Okay. I got it. So, what we need to do... I, I was on the right track. We need to fly... That was kind of cool. I just did a, a Mario wall jump. We need to drop a bomb here. And then this is what we need to do. And then throw a bomb in there. Run over here. Detonate. Switch. Run. Detonate. And we're done. I think that's how we're supposed to do it. I don't see any other possible way that we could have done that. We can't shoot anything out here. This is a very lockdown shrine in that there's there's one way to do it. You can't stasis anything, which usually I think you can stasis those. You can't stasis the the switch, which usually you can. You can't fire arrows in a janky way to get this. They they really wanted you to achieve this only one way, and that that way was kind of difficult to find out. Sweet. Onward to the next thing. Now, before we head to the Heber Maze, there's a quest that I personally would like to do. It wasn't in a comment, but it's it's something I found off-screen-ish. I, I think I did include it in the episode, but it was a very passing thing, a passing remark, and I would like to do this. There are some researchers in... Oh, what even is it? It's, it's in the north. We go to the map here. There are some researchers at the stables here, the Serene Stables, that... We're looking for uh, the three, like, monoliths of the region. The, uh, what do they call them? The three, like, fossils? Or leviathan. That's what they were. They were looking for the three leviathan, uh, and they wanted pictures or drawings of those. And they listed them all, and these are all of them. So there's the volcano leviathan, the ice cave leviathan, which we found a couple episodes ago. And then... <laughs> uh, this, this is a beautiful group photo. Which I have taken. It's it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, but then there's the the desert leviathan, and they wanted those. And I don't even think the reward's going to be that great. But I want to do it for me. This is like this is my inclusion of what to do. So we're going to Monyatama Shrine. We're going to fly down to Serene Stables, and we are going to give those researchers uh, a field day of the locations and pictures of those leviathan. Hello, researchers. I'd really like to see the Leviathan skeleton in the Hebra region. I've got it right here. <laughs> I have the entire skeleton in my pocket. 
Here it is. It's it's actually my favorite one because it's, you know, deep underground. Amazing. It's as if I'm seeing the real thing. How on earth can I also buy a Asus tablet? This is precisely the evidence I needed to prove that the Leviathan Leviathans went extinct due to a harsh harsh ice age. Please help my other brothers out in the same way. I must see if the Leviathan skeleton from the Grudo region exists. I've got it right here. Once again, the entire skeleton, right there. Also, you're very tall, and I'm not. I can't believe my eyes. You're really good at drawing. With this, I'll finally be able to prove that the Leviathans went extinct due to a, due, a, due to a catastrophic drought. What on earth is the smile that the guy behind me has on his face? What is that expression? <laughs> That's terrifying. He doesn't have it, but he does, and he's scary. I'm sure my brothers would appreciate your help with their pictures, too. I really need to see the Leviathan bones from the Elden region. There you go. You're creepy. Aww. This is wonderful. You drew this? With this, I'll finally be able to prove that the Leviathans went extinct as a result of a massive volcanic eruption. Ah, uh, you got pictures of all three Leviathan skeletons. My thanks, here's your reward. 300 rupees, as much as I expected. But still, I'm, I'm glad to have gotten that off my list. I shall conduct further research on my hypothesis while making careful study of your picture. And the Leviathan Bones quest is complete. Who are you? Hi. Oh my, you must be tired from your long trip. Are you, you yet another one of those Leviathan researchers? You don't look the type. Since you are a traveler, you should probably know this. On the other side of Mount Drena, northeast of the stable, there is there are ruins that are dark even during the day. I've never met anyone who's been there, been in there. So either no one has ever gone gone in, or no one has ever come out. Or maybe I just haven't met anyone yet. But in any case, you better forget about going in there. You should probably stay here forever just to be safe. <laughs> Upon discovering that there are no other shrines in Hyrule to Link's knowledge, he seeks to test himself out one last time by heading to the Hebra Maze. And that is what I am doing now. I've saved this until the last, but it, yet it isn't the very last shrine. There's one more in Hyrule Castle, but I kind of want to tie this into a story. Link wouldn't know that there is another shrine in Hyrule Castle unless he remembered it. Hello. Come here. Come here, horse. Get out of my way. Link wouldn't know that. And so I'm, I'm kind of trying to come up with justification for, for Link to... Uh, head to Hyrule Castle because otherwise there obviously there are a bunch of things still left for us to do there are quests everywhere there are uh, there's the DLC Zelda's told us that we need to go to the uh, Shrine of Resurrection so there are a bunch of things left for us to do but I want Link to have some justi justification some story beat for him to say okay it's time for me to face Ganon and and this is what I'm choosing to do it because as far-fetched as it sounds for me to be making my own headcanon, that is really what this particular Zelda game is about, is design or designing the story around you. Okay, come on. Uh, get stasis ready. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. And, come on. Whoa. That was weird. Uh, Urbosa's Fury didn't go off. Come on. Shield bash him. And it looks like this Lionel is guarding the gates. He can really jump, can't he? Uh, let's do this. Get up there. Perfect. Keep hitting him. Double hits, double hits, double hits. He has no move that, except for jumping to, oh man, to get us away from him. So let's uh, finish him off with this. Oh, wait. Oh. I actually, I did not shield bash that. I was saved by, uh... I was saved by the terrain there. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Perfect. Uh, let's get this ready. Three. 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 Oh, he's down. Come on. Yes. He's dead. Why... There, I, I, could, I couldn't move for a moment there. Well, that was a good fight. 
And I was fully prepared to fight anything guarding... Ooh, it's a nice bow. Anything guarding the gates to uh, to the, the maze. Let's drop... I, I want the falcon bow. I did buy an ancient bow because it's a single shot weapon and those can be nice. 43 times 3. That's not a common... Uh, that's not a common ability. Usually, it's... It's uh, times five, but this this one is is giving an attack bonus. Okay, I should re-equip this, equip that, and this. There. Okay, let's call our horse back over, turn the camera so that she appears facing that direction. I finally figured out the intricacies of doing that. And keep moving on. If there's another Lionel, I will fight it. I will definitely fight it. Get away from me, Moose. And get away from me, Stone. You, you had to jump right in my way, didn't you? Go away, Rhino. So the final maze of the game was guarded by Lionel. And who knows what other terrors lie inside of this. Maybe this is designed to be the final thing. I don't know. It's certainly daunting. Just look at this going in. It's pretty scary looking. Okay, we're going to stop. I can actually already see the shrine. We're going to leave our horse here. And we're going to walk in. You who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze and you'll receive a blessing as a reward. And it looks like the temperature might change. Trial on the cliff. Let's let's walk straight up to this shrine. I don't see an alternate... Oh, I do see alternate ways we can go. Okay. We could go that way, which is more difficult. Or we could head this way. And there's our shrine. Uh, let's head this way. Let's head this way. And, and I need to remember... That's too obvious. Head away to head towards it, basically. Uh, I need to remember that they do hide hide cool things in these mazes. So even if I take a wrong wrong route, a correct route might open itself to me. Or I might find something cool. Uh, this leads... Uh, also, I need to pay attention to po alternate passageways up. And also the shadows, because sometimes they can use those. Uh, this is a dead end... Uh, head straight or left? Straight or left? I think we had, uh, we had straight. Okay, dead end. Now, I, I could also use my map, but that's not, that's not as cool. Also, the map can be very deceiving. They will sometimes create, uh, like overpasses, or uh, rather underpasses to the wall. And so what looks like a, a dead end on the map is actually where we need to go. So using the map is probably the worst decision. Also, they, they're not above... Uh, sending you below ground. So, if it comes down to, like, at the very end of this, there might be an underground passage that sends me all the way back to the very, uh, to the, to the shrine. Hello. Just a random lun luminous stone. Okay, but it looks like this was a dead end. So, we're gonna go this way. And on in the same line of thinking, climbing on top of this can be a very bad decision, too, for that very same exact reason. Okay, I need to backtrack. I think I'm heading the right way. Uh, this way. Left or right. We'll go right. This way. Go here. And it could also be like the last time. Oh, okay, we're back to the beginning. Um, it could be like the last time too. This could be... I could accidentally stumble across the solution in a relatively short manner. Or I can head the completely wrong way on purpose to find fun doodads. You! Die! So there are enemies in here. To be expected, I guess. Oh, is that is that it? Or is that a random... What on earth? And blazon shield? A hunter's shield! Favored by hunters for its rabbit design, which is said to bring luck on hunters. It's easy to use, but its durability leaves something to be desired. A hunter's shield! Oh, Oh, what? You. Oh, but you. Wait, what weapon are we... Okay, we're using this. I probably shouldn't have angered all of these guys. Uh, do I have... Not... Wait, how did I get in... Oh. Uh, ice rod. Ice rod. Freeze them. That guy's dead. Uh, let's get our biggest hit. Combo! That did not do as much damage as I thought it would. You get down. You get down. And 
quickly switch, quickly switch, quickly switch to this. And kill him. Well, neat. We got some stuff. Uh, some sapphires. And it was guarding a chest. Which has in it a gold rupee. Ooh, an edge of duality. We haven't seen one of these in a very long time. And we were able to pick it up. Ooh. Dude, this this weapon is so cool looking. Like, credit credit should go where credit is due. And apparently we can bring our horse in here and our horse can wiggle. Are we at the end? I think we're at the end. And we never ran into the goop. Silver rupee. Cool. But then there's this passageway which leads to the very uh, the very shrine which we've been looking for. I think. Right, there's a there's some goop. Sup goop. You're very uh very goopy. And I there's actually nothing to you. I just need to You're blocking a weird path it looks like, but there's nothing I can do about that. But there was a torch. And that's not our solution. I, I mentioned a couple of episodes ago. Oh, you're fake. Yeah. That's what... Nice, nice try. You died in a wall. Can't do that. A number of episodes ago, I mentioned how, um, my... I had, like, blown out my knee, and then I had, um... I had to get my wisdom teeth out, and I had a jaw condition. Well, uh, jaw condition's better. As some good news, but... I do still have to get my wisdom teeth out, and that's gonna be happening in two weeks. Two weeks, and I'll be high as a kite after having teeth pulled from my my skull. So that's that's looking to be fun. Um, and obviously, I won't be able to release on a normal schedule during that time. And how I think it's going to happen is, I think it will line up almost perfectly with me beating the game. Sup? You're a a big ol' eye there. Like, you actually look bigger than other eyes we've seen. But you're not hurting anything, actually. Can I... Identify you? No? You're just a big ol'... A big ol' Sauron eye. I hold his life in my hands. Quite literally. And now I'm going to kill him. Oh, oh, I think we found it. I think we got it. Okay, so we just grabbed this chest, whatever's in here. Gold rupee, I kind of called it earlier. Head up the stairs, and either A, that's a tunnel that leads in, straight in, which I think that's... I think that's very likely. Okay, back at aggro. Looks like she's still, uh... Still doing her thing. Still doing her thing. And if we look up, we will see a hole. Well, that... I was right. So we'll f jump up here. And, man, we were, we were almost... We were this close to solving it for, at the very beginning. Because we went there maybe a quarter of the way through our time. Wait. Wait. No, this isn't it? Oh, man, the dungeon slow rolled us. No. Oh, is this it? Oh, this very well could be it. Climb up here. We are at this place on the map. There are a bunch of, a bunch of uh, choo-choos waiting for us. They're actually electrifying something. We'll gladly kill them all. And it looks like there were set, a set of torches here? Which led somewhere, so this is where we're supposed to be. I found it kind of through a backdoor method of, of just looking up random t at random times. So we can head up these stairs, which bring us somewhere, or we can be down here, kill that thing, get, you know, electrocuted, because that's fun. Pick that thing up. Get a ton of chew jelly. And then this would have led us where? It would have led us nowhere, but it would have led us to a chest, which the chest contains a royal shield to replace the one that I broke earlier. Well, sweet. We kind of, we didn't really solve a puzzle as much as we just kind of covered all the ground and then managed to stumble across it, but I will take that. We we kind of solved it by looking through there and seeing that there were holes to the either side. And now we're here, I think. This is a rather odd entrance for the shrine, but it is the entrance to the shrine. 
Make sure there are no chests around it, because they could always give another reward. No. This being our final trial is our final reward. Quaza Toki's Blessing at the Quaza Toki Shrine. We get barbarian leg wraps, which we do not need, actually. Uh, these leg wraps were favored by a warlike tribe from the Faron region long ago. They're adorned with traditional markings that bolster your fighting spirit to raise your f attack power. So now if we look in our inventory, so we get another pair. Well, I guess we now know where we were supposed to get that equipment. And it looks like I'm not wearing any pants. So, this is where you're supposed to get the Barbarian Leg Wraps. Uh, just as a reminder, how we got them was we completed the Terrytown quest, and there's a guy in there. Uh, there's a guy on one of the buildings that sells us any piece of armor that we have a piece of. So, if you, if you got, like, one piece of the rubber set, then you could have bought the other two pieces from him. So we kind of cheated, but I think we worked for it much harder than we would have if we just got it here. So I think it's I think it's fair to say that we we earned those leg wraps and we still have we still have two pairs, which I'll probably sell one of them. All right, that is our 119th shrine, which means you know what comes next. Be jumping comes next. And that's it. The shrine is done. There is only one more shrine remaining. And it's at Hyrule Castle. And we're going to be going there next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. Or rather, if you want to see me do something in Hyrule Castle, you can go ahead and comment. And I will get to it at some point, because the, the Let's Play is not ending after we beat Ganon. The Let's Play will end after we've shown off everything, uh, for the most part, that there is to show off. Every Korok Seed, every quest, every everything. So, after I defeat Ganon, or even before, I don't know if I'll beat Ganon in this recording session. I'll definitely go into Hyrule Castle at, um, during this recording session. Then I will get to whatever you suggest. <gasps> Wait! Him. Oh, that's a quest we need to do. Oh, snap. Uh, let me look. Style horse pictured. John L. in the Snowfield Stable wants to see what a style horse looks like. What could be the best way to show her? We could bring one to her, or we could take a picture of one. Which I think we'll do that. Sweet! In the end slate of this video, as, as unorthodox, unorthodox as it is, I am going to, uh... Bring her a picture of a style horse. Sweet. <laughs> How goes it? Did you find the style horse? The last I'd heard, it was supposedly it supposedly wanders around the North Tabantha snowfield near the weird ruins to the east. I found it. Right here. <gasps> what? This is the bony horse? That style horse. It's a monster. The sight of this is going to haunt my dreams for weeks, but the picture is still amazing. Yep, that picture's all I need. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is a great picture. It'll be perfect inspiration for the article I'm going to write. Here's your reward, just as I promised. I hope we get a chance to work to together again in the future. Where... Are you trying to wipe the picture from your mind? I'm so sleepy, yawn. So what do you want to know? I am going to... I'm so sleepy, I'm going to run around with my eyes above my... What are you doing? With my hands over my eyes. You just ran around with your hands over your eyes, saying you're sleepy, and then you're just going to stand here. I think the real evil in, Hy in Hyrule is you.